The meeting at Milton District High School saw the return of Ted Chudley, the PC Party incumbent candidate. Chudley had missed back-to-back -back education focused debates. Mr. Chudley will be joining us later in the evening. There's another commitment that he's going to get here. Moderating the debate was Milton District High School Principal Ian Jones, who laid down some ground rules. We have timekeepers here uh, that will give the candidates a signal uh, when there's 30 seconds left, and then when there is no time left, they'll get a detention from me. <laughs> if they continue to speak, they will be suspended. <laughs> The candidates' debate at Milton District was well attended, featuring questions from the audience and sign interpretation from Heather Hawthorne, who donated her services for the evening. No one should have to choose between their children and a job. The current shift to full day kindergarten has mucked up the child care funding model, and while we are, of course, fully supportive of full day K, we won't let parents who need child care spaces fall through the cracks. The only way to do that is provide more support to change the current funding model. The current funding model doesn't work, and the Liberals have not accepted that. We do, and we will change it. North America's first full-day kindergarten plan. It's huge. It gives parents peace of mind and ensures that our children get to start uh, in, in terms of education, get a head start. We know this will impact on child care providers, and so we're providing the more transition funding Full day kindergarten will save families up to six thousand five hundred dollars per much. child per yes. year. Other school bus driver, I can tell you this: the children that they are, they come from daycares. You simply tell them, please sit down. They just the way you look at as do you? The children that they come from home care, and you ask them, please sit down. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's a great big difference. The daycare doesn't matter how much if you, you support it for forty dollars a day or a million dollars a day will not work and only destroy the future of Ontario families and the future of Canada. I can assure you that. Chudley may have arrived midway through the debate, but his campaign team made sure his presence was known. Uh, and yes, we're graduating more students, more graduates uh, in universities and colleges than any other jurisdiction or most other jurisdictions in North America, but they don't have jobs when they graduate. Many of them are moving to Alberta, uh, BC, Saskatchewan, even to Panama, to find jobs. And Ontario, which once was the economic engine of this country, that's wrong. We should be that economic engine again, and we can be. First, we have to reduce red tape. Take that burden of red tape off small and medium-sized businesses and let them do what they do best. We want to create an ability for small and medium-sized companies to bid on government contracts. They can't bid on those contracts now. It's restricted to only the large companies, and that's wrong too. Uh, unfortunately, right now, Halton doesn't provide enough opportunities for people my age. I know this from experience. Um, if I wasn't commuting to Guelph for four years, if I wasn't uh, commuting to New York, um, I wouldn't be able to find uh, the career interest for, my, for myself. There are many things that we are doing to try and ensure that people will, will have jobs and be employed. Uh, in addition to that, Ontario has now been able to find uh, full-time jobs, more full-time jobs in this province than the rest of Canada combined, and that's something to be really proud of. Remember, we have just gone through a recession. 300,000 jobs created since 2003. Coming up tomorrow on the Halton Writing Speaker Mind Community Blog, an interview with Halton Health CEO John Oliver. And the candidates sure have plenty to say when it comes to the issue of health care in Halton.